Hi, my name is Francisco Ortega. Uh, I'm the instructor for CGS 4854, a PhD candidate at Florida International University. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 15, 2012. This is a small review for those of you that have taken programming one, one and two, and either have forgotten some uh, of the concept or struggle during those classes. Now, you still have to, if you're behind the basic conce concepts of programming, uh, you still have to review on your own. Uh, but I'll try to make as many tutorials as possible. So hopefully this will be our first tutorial. So this is NetBeans 7.1.2. And I'm using the latest Java as well, 64-bit. You can use whichever you want. We're going to start a new project. If you're using Eclipse, well, the uh, will be fairly similar. So anyways, Java, we're going to create a Java application. Uh, we're going to create Next. We're going to hit Next. And we're going to name this... Um, Tutorial one. I'm going to use the default directories. I'm going to set it here to main project. And we're going to go ahead and create a main class. We'll call it driver. And we'll click finish. Now here we see the source. It's under our default package, means there's not within a package. And we can see here's the main class. And we could create packages here, new Java package, new Java class. So let's start with the concept of packages. It may be useful to keep them organized. So a Java package, uh, I'm going to call it playlist. So there is a convention for the packages as well. The question is, is the, the package should be uppercase or lowercase? And the answer is lowercase. It's important to try to follow conventions as much as possible. We know that classes will always start with uh, the, the first letter will be uppercase. And everything else will be lowercase, the first word. And then the, uh, the first letter of the second word and will be uppercase and so on. So... I'm not going to document and I'm not going to go into documentation just to save some time. Um, and I'll provide some additional resources on the website. Uh, again, my website is Francisco Raul Ortega .com, or you can also uh, get there by typing the human compiler .com. Uh, More about the name of the site later. So we're here. We're going to create a package. Right click on source packages, new Java package, and we're gonna call it playlist. Let's just let's just go everything with lowercase. Uh, playlist. So now we have a package called playlist. Now here I'm gonna create some classes. So right click new Java classes. So I'm right clicking on playlist because I'm, that's where I'm going to put it. If you put it somewhere else, you can drag and drop. Java class, we have Java interface. So we're going to create a Java class for this tutorial. And it's going to be called song. What we're trying to do, the objective of the tutorial and the rest of the tutorial is to build upon this concept of a playlist. So here's a song. 
and now here we have the class. So let's go over the just the basic. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the upper part of the comment, just for simplicity. As, however, when uh, make sure to have comments in your code here in public class song. This is where we define in the class. The class name is song. So we're saying class song and the modifier is public. Now remember that in Java, this is not the same for other languages, for example, like C sharp, C++, and in C++ you actually keep the file separate, but in Java, the main class, which is song here, has to be the same name as the file name. So if I would rename song to something else, here just click in, in Mac song 2 and I'm now going to refactor if you click refactor it will fix it for you so it's wanting to refactor too but an another way is to go and do song 2 here it's going to mark an error because the file name should be song 2.java you may have some other inner classes inside with a different name but the main class for the file has to be the same name as your file so here we're going to declare a song so we're going to create instance variables so the, the first thing I can think of is a, a string name that will be the name of a song name song um, and of course, we could have additional classes that describe some of these objects. For now, I'm just going to keep it simple. I'm going to keep, I'm going to have a number for uh, a double for duration in milliseconds. Milliseconds duration. Do you see how I'm keeping the style? Now, if I was going to write um, a constant, that would be the name would be in uppercase, the entire name. Um, now, f so I have name song and duration. I could have um, a string artist. This could become a, a class, eventually not be a string. That would be a, a better idea. And I'm gonna leave it for you to, to think about it and to work on it. And later maybe on, on the following tutorial, so I modify this tutorial in by adding additional classes. This is, by the way, what we did in, in in one of our lectures. We went over this already. I am expecting you guys to know programming, to know Java, but primarily to understand object-oriented programming. Nevertheless, I would, like I said, I will try to have as many tutorials as possible. So now we have the instance variables. These are variables that belong to the class. I'm declaring them private because um, I don't want any other class outside of song to have access to them. Uh, it could be declared package, uh, which is similar in C sharp if you have done C sharp to internal. Um, that would mean that it can be accessed by the entire package. It could be declared public, so it can be accessed from outside of any class, from, from any other class. Uh, those are the three that, uh, that I'm accustomed to using Java, private, public, and package. Uh, there may be another one. In C-sharp, for example, we have internal, protected, public, and private. So... I created those three. Make sure you add private. If you don't add private to this, the default will be will, will be a package. So private string name song, private double MS duration, private string artist. So this is a class that's describing one song. Now, most important thing in, in the beginning of the diagnostic exam, I noticed that some of you have forgotten what a constructor was. So here I'm gonna write a constructor. A constructor, it 
it will start with the modifier in terms of security, whether it's public, private, or package. So I'm going to make it public. So I want the constructor to be accessed from outside of this class. Constructor has the same name. It has no return type, and it has no uh, no return type whatsoever. So you don't do void song. And also, you notice that the constructor will always have the the constructor will always have the same name of the class. This is true for Java, for C Sharp. This is true for C++. Um, it may not be true for all object-oriented languages, but in a lot of them, it's true. So I'm going to have a constructor that will take a string name, a double uh, duration, and a string artist name. What artist album two? Now, if you notice, and we can add string year. Oh, let's make it int. This is now. If you notice. Here we already can be thinking about another class. A list for artist name, artist album, and year. Any details about the album in itself could be in another class, right? Uh, so that's useful. So we can extend, we can create another class called album. I think that would be a good class. I'm actually going to create the file right away. I'm not going to do anything with it. I may leave it for the next tutorial. So here we have um, album. And we're going to have it in the playlist tutorial. Now, the, the reason I was thinking about playlists is because it could be a video playlist. Then song maybe wouldn't apply. But then we may have a playlist item, and then we extend it in. Uh, into song and into a movie, for example. So we can we'll see more about that in the in the next tutorial. So for now, I'm going to take three parameters, and I will take the four and the fifth. So I'll have three overloading methods. I'm going to copy this, and And now I'll copy this here, string album, and I'm gonna You see I try not to go over the red line. Um that's just for printing. In most in the day to day work, I don't uh, when I'm doing C++ or or using OID, I don't worry so much about the line. Uh, you have some instructors that may want you to um, keep it within the red line, so it just looks more readable on the printout. So this one will take year. So now we have we're already looking at overloading. So you can overload methods, right? One thing that you have to remember that a constructor is a method, it's a function, it's a method. It doesn't return anything, you think, but in act actually when you create the new object, when you create an object, so you call new song and you pass the parameters, the constructor is not only initializing the parameters, if you have any, because you may not have none, but the constructor is doing something before, which is allocating memory for the object. Uh, and it's going to return a pointer to, to an object, in this case, uh, in Java reference. So while some people will want to see a difference between a constructor and a, and a method, a constructor is a special type of method. 
is the initialization method for the object. So now what do we do? Do we type all the names again? No. Uh, since we're going to overload it, we'll start with the one that has the list. So we'll say this dot name duration artist, which here I have to modify. And I'll pass it to the one that has the most. Name, duration, artist, string, and year. Well, year is not declared, so I'm going to make it zero. And it's complaining about something. I'll, I'll take a look right now. I also think I should make, make the font a little bigger for you guys. Let me make the font bigger. Let's make it 15. That's a little bigger. I'll go ahead and upload the tutorial as well. So let's let's look at what is complaining. I saying that it's recursive, but well let's let's finish let's finish this and we'll see. I think it was fine. Here we'll do name, the duration, that artist, that album, that zero, that uh, zero, because it has no year. And here we're going to actually initialize the variables, and I'll explain this in a second. So we have name song equals name, ms duration equals duration, artist name equals artist, artist album equals album, year equals, now here we we may have a conflict here, I may have to specify this that year, just to make it clear that we're referring to a different year, but, so it ended up working out so I can show you a way to make a difference between the local variable and your method, in this case a constructor, and your instant variable for the class. Now remember this is this will be true independent for each object. So each object will have the structure when it gets created. Now for uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave something for you to do which is doing the accessors and the mutators for all the for all the variables here, all the instance variable. So I'll make one for the for the year. Public int get year return year, and I'll do the this. This is your accessor, and now your mutator set year in year year this that year is equals to year and to make it look a little different let's modify this and then we don't need this and let's modify this too I never like to have the same uh, the year. I don't like to have the same name of variables um, in my parameters or my local variables of a method as my instance variable. That will lead to confusion. So let's review this for a second. 
we have the class public class song name song ms duration artist name artist album and year we said that at least this tree can move, be moved to another class so now we have three constructor one takes three parameters and it calls the main constructor which um, which has five parameters the other one has four and the last one has five remember that this can also be seen as self um, it's, it's calling the constructor itself so self or me there will be other type of names that you can think of when you see this uh, we also have to override the equals method and do some other um, addition of features to this class for now I'm going to leave it to you as homework or for you to try it's not, it's not real homework so it's, you're not going to be greater on this and as we continue with the tutorials uh, we'll keep adding additional um, functions to the classes that we're creating and new classes as well. So now let's create let's create with this song in mind. Let's create a playlist. We call we're gonna call it Java class, and we're gonna call it a list. So the list, let's call it uh, playlist. So this is a class playlist. My instant variable is going to be an array list of type song. Uh, one thing to notice is here you can right click fix import to to correct the imports in NetBeans. One thing to notice, I seen this done uh, in Java 7, I think it's allowed. I definitely don't like it, but it is allowed, which is Let's see if it works. It's not letting me do it, which is good. I sent this down and, and it gives you an error, but that's been let you run anyways. If you run the program and it says you have errors, don't run it. And that's been let you run it anyways, but it's not it's not a good practice. So please don't do that if you do it. Um, now we have a release song, playlist, new array list song. So this is our playlist. Uh, we're gonna um, we're gonna create a constructor at this point. But remember that if you don't create a constructor, there's always a default constructor. Uh, let's create one, just an empty one for now. Okay, and now we're gonna create an AM method. Public void add song song s and this is going to do playlist song s so this is the tutorial for now uh, we have the album well the album is you can start creating it we don't have it yet the playlist playlist is complaining about something let's see what it's complaining about Uh, as in lowercase and let's call it this song a song and of course this is add so we add in a song we have an empty constructor we could initialize the array list here too if you wanted to playlist equals to
we can also have a name for the array list. And now, of course, you notice I forgot something, which I'm going to add now. Create the constructors. So, should be fine now. It's fine, no errors. So we have an array list. Sorry about that, I just hit the mic. We have an array list. And we're also going to initialize the name of the list. And we'll create an empty one which calls the main one and for now we call it default will be the same name they'll have the same name uh, no name we could create a random name so I've create um, let's create the accessors right away since it's only one for now Public string get name and public void set name. So here we have name playlist name equals name list. So it's important to see that the, the thought process that it takes to create the class is like um, you can also draw it uh, for the purpose of the, the tutorial. I just wanted to write the code, but you can draw it on a paper and see what you're going to do. And you can start thinking, what is it that I need? And then you can realize, oh, I could take this and create another class and, and we'll make it easier and we'll make more sense. That's the whole point of object oriented programming. Uh, and here to get name, we're going to return playlist name. So here you have your class. I'm going to be uploading this as well. Uh, I'll probably upload it uh, a little bit after the video or tomorrow morning. So we have a playlist. We have a song. We have to create the other accessors. Um, I mean, I create the other accessors for the next tutorial because I'm going to move into artist, into album. I'm going to have this class and I'm going to go ahead and modify some to have an album of uh, object type, an, an album type, as opposed to having string, string, int. And we'll change this class a little bit. Uh, what we also want to do in the following tutorials is that we... Uh, instead of having a song, we may want to extend the song. We may want to have a playlist item and then song to be uh, to inherit that in order for us to use songs and videos and whatever you want in a playlist. So for now, you can see that we have this class. We have the playlist. Eventually, we have our driver so we can test it. Um, and this is tutorial one. Next um, video will be about tutorial two. Also remember that I'll be doing a video for chapter two of our class. Um, and please email me if you have any questions. Again, my website is franciscoraulortega.com. Let me open it right here. Um, I'll have everything from this class updated on my website. Uh, but you will always have it first in Moodle. So Moodle will be your main place to find it. But after the class is over, you can keep accessing the information from my website. So you see here is FranciscoRaulOrtega.com. Here's some of the information. I'll have the videos uploaded by the time we finish the course in this website. Right now you have them in Moodle.
So eventually I have some additional blocks in here. So this is my website. And last, so you can also go to the humancompiler.com, which takes you to my website. It's the same thing. This is a WordPress website, very easy. Took me a few minutes. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any further questions, please email me or go to my website.